Thank you. My name is Rabbi Litvin. I'm an emissary of the Lubavitcher Rebbe, the foremost Jewish leader of the modern era. I also serve as rabbi at Chabad of the Bluegrass and at the Chabad at UK Jewish Student Center. Will you lift your microphone, please? Sorry. Thank you. 6-1, my fault. Uh, I serve as the rabbi at the Chabad Jewish Student Center at the University of Kentucky, as well as chairman of the Kentucky Jewish Council. I'm also the senior rabbi or the longest serving rabbi in Lexington right now. I rise tonight to address the public comment campaign now in its fourth week. The demand that the city of Lexington call for a ceasefire in Israel's war against the genocidal Hamas terrorist group that began following the atrocities of October 7th. The demand ignores the rape and slaughter of the October 7th attacks and the more than 100 hostages, including eight Americans, that are still being held in Gaza, like Kfir Bibas, who was kidnapped at nine, nine months old. Accompanied by fabricated accusations and calls for further violence against Jewish community, both in their homeland in Israel and around the world, including here in Lexington, these demands ignore two crucial facts. I say this, and I hope it doesn't hurt any of the council members' feelings, but the Israeli government is not holding out to hear what Lexington, Kentucky has to say before planning their next operation. This is not a substantive program, project, but rather a performative one. At a time when the council has real issues to deal with, as we heard earlier tonight, issues of homelessness, of economy, including nine shootings here in Lexington and two homicides this year alone. Secondly, calling for a ceasefire is not necessary. A ceasefire has been offered and on the table since October 7th, the only preconditions being the return of the hostages who have been kidnapped and the disarmament and surrender of the Hamas terrorist group. There was a tremendous amount of anti-Semitic lies that were espoused here today, and I won't respond to all of them, but the fact remains unquestionable. A ceasefire resolution would not affect the war in Gaza. It would only serve to cause further damage to our community here in Lexington. 